What is up everybody? We are back and today I want to talk about gaining clients through word of mouth versus paying for leads through a gener lead generating website, specifically Angie's List in my experience. Now I want to start this video by saying this is just my opinion. I know there's tons of people that have had all sorts of different experiences and this is just mine. So I pay Angie's List each month to generate leads for me, all sorts of handyman leads. And I think to date I have, over the last four or five months, I have 74 leads that have been sent to me. And I've responded to all of them and I've probably got five or six jobs out of Angie's List, maybe one per month. And for me, that's really just not enough. It, it, there's a lot of time that I'm spending reaching out to these clients. And typically when I reach out to them, I will call their phone, I will send them an email, and I will send them a message through the Angie's List app. That's what they recommend you do. Now, I don't do all those things at once and bombard them, but over the course of the day, if they don't respond, those are the things that I'll do. And a very low percentage of them actually respond back. The majority of them are almost like they don't exist. I think that these people are people that are at home one day and they're bored or they see something that they want fixed at their house and it's bothering them in that moment. So they jump on the websites and they send out a quote request to who knows how many handyman and they never respond back. I cannot tell you how much time I have chased down leads and spent thinking about how I can reach out to this person differently and talking with client success managers about what I can do to get these people to respond to me. And it's almost like they're really not interested in a handyman. They were just, you know, itching a little itch that they had to, um, to get something fixed at their house with no real, um, commitment to getting it done. Now, when I gain clients through um, word of mouth or just let's say they're on my Google My Business profile or they see my website or they see me on Facebook or like I said, word of mouth, when these people reach out to me, they are usually ultra responsive. They're usually super punctual and, and flexible about the times that, they, that you can come out. They usually want me to come out that day or the next to get them an estimate and nine times out of 10, they're my ideal client. They don't really question my price. They don't really question um, the method to complete the project. They just know of me and they want me to do their job. And that's what we're all looking for. We're looking for clients that want to work with us, not that just need a handyman. So. I recommend always talking about your business. When you're out and about, you should always be selling yourself, always telling people about what you do and generating more and more talk about you within your town and your community because that's the way you're gonna gain the best, most responsive clients are through word of mouth, through people that already know you telling somebody else about it. I also think it's important in the beginning to pay for these platforms like Angie's List that generate you leads because in my opinion, even though these people are not super responsive to me, every time they type in handyman, they see my profile. And then when they see that profile, maybe on another platform like Facebook, they link the two together. And then when they're finally really ready, they might go on Google and see my profile. Boom, boom, boom. Now they're calling me and hiring me. And you know, that might not happen as often as word of mouth clients, how quickly they decide to hire you. But I think it's important to get yourself out there in the beginning. So don't ever stop talking about your business. Be self-promoting, promote yourself in everything you do. Always talk about yourself. There's always an opportunity in every conversation to explain to somebody what you do. So I hope this helps. Like always, like this video so other people can find it. Leave me a comment of, you know, some of the experiences that you've had through using lead generated websites and also word of mouth clients. And like always subscribe because we're growing and you guys know what we do when we get to 200 subscribers. We'll do another $100 giveaway to an organization in my community that we think does a great job. So like always subscribe, hit that button. Thanks guys.